Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to this review of ARMS for Nintendo Switch. Shout out to Nintendo for providing me with the game for reviewing purposes and I'm here to answer one simple question. Is this game fun? So let's get into this review. So when I first saw the announcement for ARMS I thought to myself, this is a game that I probably won't pick up. But then when I went to a Switch event back in January and I played the game at this event I thought to myself, this is something that could potentially be massive. This game is hella fun, it really is. It's something that at first sight you think it's not going to be great, but once you play it for yourself you think, okay, this game is actually really fun. You can see yourself playing it for a long time. I kind of felt the same about Splatoon. I thought to myself, Splatoon looks good, but I don't think it'll be a game I play constantly. And then I played it and I thought to myself, okay, this is a game I'm going to be playing a lot. And ARMS is exactly the same. So if you played the ARMS Global Test Punch, you're probably thinking, what's different between the main game and that little preview we got? Well, the main game has access to the Grand Prix, which is uh, basically the story mode of the game. You have 10 consecutive fights, and you might have a normal 1v1, you might be the basketball match, you might do skill shot. Grand Prix is basically your story mode. Other than Grand Prix, you have Versus, Party Match, Ranked Match, Friends and Local, which is essentially all the same, to be honest, apart from one will be offline, one will be online. So this is basically what you play in the Global Test Punch, but more in depth. You have more maps, more characters to play with, more arms to play with and to be honest this game is something that if you go online it is super fun to play by yourself but if you don't go online there's not really much you can do apart from grinding the Grand Prix grind a few matches just to get your points up just so you can spend to get new arms I would say this is a game you need to play with an extra person or even a group of people because it's just so much more fun it really is as someone who mainly plays games by himself this game was fun for a little bit offline. I played through the Grand Prix a couple of times, enjoyed that, and then after that I just found no fun grinding the uh, the coins. But once I took it to online and I started dominating people online, that is where I had my fun. But for offline, when I started playing it with friends and family, that is when I enjoyed the game so much more. Because it's, it's fun dominating someone online, but when you actually get to see it in person and you know you're both swinging like next person next to you swinging the arms trying to take each other out that is where the excitement and fun is with arms so one small gripe i have with arms is the get arms mode but basically when you get all these points use your points to spend to um get new arms but you have to like do a little kind of skill shot thing hit some targets and i am not the best with my aim so essentially I'm wasting all these points to get the arms and I'm not getting the best arms or not getting any arms because I just can't hit the targets very well. And this is a personal preference because I suck at aiming but if anyone else has problems aiming you might not get the arms you want but I mean a bit of practice and you get better and better and it might not be a big issue but for a start off the game it's kind of annoying. One thing I should mention as well is a lot of people were saying do you have to use the motion controls to play arms and the answer to that is no you don't but I found it's so much more fun to hold the joy cons like apart and just swing your arms using the motion controls because the motion controls work so well they are really really well done like when i used to play the wii sometimes you know you'd swing the control it wouldn't work very well then they brought the wii motion plus in still didn't work that well but the joy cons are so good they work with arms fantastically they really do but that's not to say that playing with the controller actually is bad it's still pretty good and i've got to say Arms runs really well in handheld mode. Did not expect it to run as well as it did. You can hold it with the Joy-Cons attached to it and just play like that. Still fun like that. If you want to lay in bed, you know, if someone's sleeping, because I have played Arms in bed when someone is sleeping, and you know, it stops them waking up. Because if I was swinging my arms around, it would uh, it would shake the bed a bit. But I gotta say, it is much more fun with the motion control. It really, really is. So let's answer the question: Is this game fun? Yes, this game is super fun. I highly recommend picking this game up whenever you can. If you're a solo player like me, you'll enjoy it online. Online is super fun, super competitive. You always want to win. But if you're looking for a fun, casual time with friends, this is also something to pick up because just fighting your friends and family is just so fun with this game. And I can't express enough how much of a good job Nintendo have done with this game because from someone who looked at it at first and thought, nah, this is not going to be a great game, to playing it, thinking this game's going to be amazing, to actually own it and going, okay, this game is something I'm going to keep playing for a very, very long time. Nintendo have done a very good job with this game, and with all the free updates coming, this is something 100% you should pick up 